y'all and welcome to the crazy sock lady youtube channel my name is Kay, and this is my channel where i share all about my knitting and crafting adventures today is tuesday june 22nd right yes i'm right it's tuesday june 22nd i have just sat down with the last bit of the coffee for the day and i've got so many works in progress. I have no finished objects <laughs> this week and we are gonna chat about all the whips so don't worry we're gonna talk all about the socks I'm working on. We have a giveaway winner, two giveaway winners in fact from last episode to announce and a new giveaway for this episode. So go ahead and grab your coffee or whatever you might be sipping on right now. Grab something to work on and let's get started. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as the crazy sock lady. And we do have a group for this podcast on Ravelry. Um, I have links right down below this video in the description box to all of the places that you can find me at the link to the Ravelry group, any project pages, shops that I talk about, all of that's right down there for you to find. So just a few admin things first. Summer Sock Camp is going on right now. This is the second annual Summer Sock Camp Knit Along and this is running, it started June 1st and it runs all the way to the end of August. This is happening in the Ravelry group. That's where you can enter your finished objects pictures. If you head over to the Crazy Sock Lady Ravelry group, you will find all of the details, information, rules, etc. So head over and check that out if you have any questions. If you are not using Ravelry, you can just always use the hashtag Summer Sock Camp 2021. Anyone can use that whether you use Ravelry or not, but I will also draw some prizes from that hashtag for the knit along. I will have... We did sell out, just quick Etsy shop update. We sold out of so many notions. We are super low on some needles. Sock rulers are sold out. I am restocking quite a few things. It should all be up by the time that this podcast goes up. And I'm not gonna announce it for just a bit on Instagram. I'm gonna let y'all watch the podcast and head over if you're wanting anything and see if it's back in stock. Um, so yeah, if you're watching this and you'd wanted something and missed out, this is your your time <laughs> go try to grab it don't worry if we do sell out of things i am planning to keep restocking the items that seem to be pretty popular so just keep checking back or send me a message and say hey do you will you get more of these can you get more of these something like that i can probably get more of them so yes head over those have been restocked i have added some 24 inch needles for two at a time on two circulars and also i'm looking over at my needles right now so i don't forget everything um, I have stocked some in almost all of the lengths of cord. These are chow goo needles, by the way. I have stocked DK weight sizes for like DK weight socks. So you'll find some extended size ranges for a lot of those lengths of needles and DPNs as well. So head over and check that out. Is that it? I think that's it. We do have an Instagram live for Summer Sock Camp this week, and I'm planning to do that this Thursday, the 24th at noon Eastern. I will announce on Instagram if that time changes, but that is when I am planning on doing that. I had planned on doing it today, the 22nd, but we had like a spontaneous, very spontaneous day yesterday, which is not like me. And I'm trying to learn to be more spontaneous because it can sometimes just make for the best day. And it did yesterday. We took the kids, took off work, took the kids and went to Kings Island. And it was such a fun, fun day. Um, yeah, so the IG Live is not happening today because I'm just kind of playing catch up from taking off of work yesterday. So the IG Live will be this Thursday, the 24th at noon. If you can join us over there, we'll just chat for about an hour. I'll answer any questions anyone has. It's always a super fun time, I think, um, when we do those IG Lives. All right, I think we're just gonna jump in with works in progress and chat about those. Hmm. I did want to remind y'all that there is a coupon code. I've been horrible about <laughs> posting about this. There is a coupon code for crazy sock lady patterns that is good throughout the camp. 
Um, and that code is SSC2021. I believe I'm gonna have to double check. I believe it gets you 15% off any of my patterns. So I um, always have the shops linked down below where you can get the patterns on Ravelry and Etsy. And I'll make sure to have all of the information here on the screen in case I have that code incorrect, because like I said, I have been the worst about posting this code. So <laughs> if you're wanting any crazy Zoc Lady patterns, take advantage of that discount code and grab yourself a couple. Okay, works in progress. Let's see what we got. So I actually have three half finished socks. Look at these beauties. Oh my goodness, I love them so much. Three half finished. These are three of the ones we're going to talk about. Let's jump in with these first. So these are actually not a pair that I cast on for Summer Sock Camp. These were cast on before. And these I'm doing, I'm knitting along with Carrie of Stolen Minutes. These are our twins socks. Sorry, I have, my hair is on them. <laughs> so I have one done. This yarn is Ba Yarn. I have the tag, yes. And the main color is Moroccan Nights and the contrast, or I'm sorry, I have that backwards. The contrast is Moroccan Nights. The main color is the May 2019 colorway. We picked this up at Lampkin's Yarn Store, I believe. And I love it so much. So we split the skeins of yarn. They were two full skeins and we split them. That's why we're calling them our twins socks. And we decided instead of striping them or anything, we were gonna see how it worked out to do the main sock in Moroccan Nights. Or, oh my gosh, why do I keep calling it that? The main sock in May 2019. <laughs> I think all the roller coasters yesterday like <laughs> fried my brain a bit. We'll talk more about the Kings Island trip later. It was fun. But um, May 2019 and then the contrast in the Moroccan Nights. And just to see if we could get, with just 50 grams of the main 2019 colorway, we could get two socks. I am not sure that I'm gonna have enough though. That's all I have left. Carrie actually messaged me and she ran out. All along I've said if I run out of the main color, I'm just gonna finish it in the Moroccan Nights. I don't care, I'm not phased if my socks don't match. I'm just someone who's not bothered by that type of thing. Um, so if I run out, I'm not, not concerned about it. I'll just finish it with the Moroccan Nights and whatever, they'll still be beautiful, beautiful hand-knit socks. So for these, I am knitting them on a US Zero, two millimeter, nine inch Chowgu circular. I do have these in my shop. And I have cast on 64 stitches. Vanilla socks on nine inch circulars is the pattern that I'm following. The only difference is I did a knit two purl two for the rib. And I only did 57 rounds for the leg before starting my heel flap. I do have my team cuff down progress keeper. I think these are still in stock in the shop and I have more on the way as well. If they're sold out, um, more have been ordered. They're not on their way to me yet, but they've been ordered. <laughs> so yeah, thoroughly enjoying this super excited that I am so close to being done because like I said, these were not specifically cast on for camp. So it'll feel nice to have these done. And will I only have camp stuff on the needles? Pretty much. I mean, I have a couple other whips, but pretty much it'll only be camp stuff. I feel like nothing else has mattered right now, but camp, summer sock camp. I just want all the socks, all the fun socks. Okay, so yes, that's it for this whip. Hopefully it'll be done by next week. This is in a bag from Carrie of Stolen Minutes. My next one is another one of the half finished socks. This is yarn from Molly of a homespun house in the super fly colorway. I have my summer sock camp progress keeper on this one. And I talked about that last week, but I just love this pooling. I've just got this in the bag that came, my yarn came in from Molly. I've got the second one going. And again, these are on US, US Zero 2 millimeter 9 inch Chowgu circulars. And I'm in the middle of 
the heel flap for these. Just, oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. So beautiful. And I love that they are just doing their thing. Stunning. So yes, right in the middle of the heel flap, vanilla socks on nine inch circulars, knit two, purl two for the ribbing, cast on 64 stitches, right in the middle of that heel flap. It's barely just begun. Lots of vanilla socks right now is what I've been craving. I think there's just been so much going on with all the new stuff added to the Etsy shop, working on getting orders out that just vanilla socks have just been my thing lately. Like it's just like the perfect clear my mind. Don't have to think about anything. It's just been perfect. <laughs> so perfect. And don't get me wrong. It's not that I'm stressed about that stuff. It's just when it comes to my knitting time, I don't want to have to get a pattern out. <laughs> I just want to sit and knit and completely just kind of zone out when I get that knitting time in. All right, another vanilla sock, another half finished vanilla sock. This is my skein cocaine yarn in this special colorway. And these are being done on two 16 inch circulars. That was one of the videos that came out for camp this year, the tutorial for that. And I'm following the vanilla socks on magic loop pattern for this. US one 2.25 millimeter is the size needle. And again, 64 stitches. This yarn is just beautiful. And knit two purl two for the rib. That's just been it lately. All of these have 20 rounds um, for the cuff and then approximately 50 to 60 rounds for the leg. Most have 50. I think the twin socks are the only ones that have more. They have 57. And I can't remember why I did that. I probably just accidentally knit 57 and then was like, yeah, I'm not taking that out. <laughs> so it will have 57 rounds. <laughs> And I have this in my camp bag from Vita of So Crazy Crafter. She's one of our camp sponsors. And I want to touch real quick. I've kind of mentioned this before, but I've had a lot of questions again about the logo for camp and people wanting to use that logo. The only shops that are have permission to use the summer sock camp logo are my sponsors and myself um i have four sponsors so crazy crafter stolen minutes desert vista dye works and mandy's makings and those are the only four shops that have permission to use the summer sock camp logo next year's sign up for sponsors will go a little different so make sure that you pay attention um if you're wanting to get in as a sponsor and all of that but this year, I've just kind of had an influx of questions recently, people wanting the logo to sell things and do things. And um, the only four shops that have permission to do that this year are those four shops to use the Summer Sock Camp name for any items, to use the logo for any items. Those are the only four shops that have permission this year. So I just wanted to touch base on that really quickly because <laughs> I've had so many questions. All right. Speaking of Stolen Minutes and Mandy's Makings and Summer Sock Camp stuff, this is not a Summer Sock Camp bag, but this is by Stolen Minutes. And I have my June Share A Pair socks in here. I've gotten a lot done on these since you saw them last. Have I even showed them on here? I don't even remember. But for June's Share A Pair, Amanda did the Summer Sock Camp yarn in 250 gram cakes. And Amanda and I have been splitting the share pairs every month and this is one of my favorites so far. So I decided I was going to stripe and do shorties just because I've really been enjoying shorties and I don't have any really going right now do I? These are the only ones. So yes I started with the yellow and I'm striping in the blue variegated. 
I think it's turning out so much fun. I'm going to do heels, toes, and cuffs on both pair in the yellow and stripe in the blue. I'm alternating every two rounds. I do have a tutorial for that here on YouTube. I will link that for just how I do those stripes on these share pairs. I did 10. Let me double check. 10 rounds for the cuff. And I think I did two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. Yes, 10 rounds for the leg. And then on the 11th round, I started the heel flap. And I did do a video for Summer Sock Camp this year that talks about shorty socks. So I will link that as well if you guys are interested. I'm doing nine inch circulars again. Man, these have been a favorite recently. Um, US two or US zero two millimeter 64 stitches. And I've not wanted to put this down when I've picked it up. I worked on it on Sunday and I was like, man, I do not want to put this down. But I did and worked on Eric's scrappy socks a bit, but it was tough because I've just so been enjoying this now that I've really got it going. Okay, I brought one more down. This is a new cast on. This is in a bag by Mountain State Stitches. And I have a sock cast on with some yarn that Natalie of Blush Yarns sent me. I don't think I have a colorway name for this. It was a sock set with a full, or not a full skein, I'm sorry. It was a 50 gram skein and then two 10 gram minis. Sorry, it's a bit of a mess. It's been down in the bag. So I've been trying to decide how I'm going to do this with a 50 gram skein and then two 10 gram minis. I've got the heel flap started, don't I? Yes. I've done two rows on the heel flap. So I decided to do this on DPNs because Natalie is my DPN cabin counselor for this year's summer sock camp. So I'm using Natalie's yarn and she's knitting up this set as well. So I thought, perfect, I'm gonna use DPNs. And this is what I've got so far. So I cast on 64 stitches, knit two purl two ribbing for 10 rounds. Yes, 10 rounds. Then I did four rounds with the main color still. And then I did four rounds with the pink. And now I'm doing the heel flap. I did four rounds in the main color after that and then started in on the heel flap. It will be in the main collar. I think looking at it now though, so I have the green mini and what I was planning to do was the toe in the green, do another stripe of four rounds in the pink before the toe. I think I'm gonna take these two rows out on the heel flap, do the heel flap in the green, and then do the stripe of pink before the toe and do the toe in the main color because since it's only 10 grams I don't think I'll have enough to do like two heel flaps and two toes so I'm just going to pick one or the other but I think I'm going to do the heel flap over doing the toe in the green just because that's what I'm kind of feeling right now so I'll just take those two rows out that won't take any time at all and then do the heel flap in the green rest of the sock down to where I'll do the pink stripe just in the main color pink stripe toe in the main collar. Yeah, I think that'll be good. That's what I'm going to do. So these have been fun, but I've kind of been like on a roll with trying to get those three socks done that have the first sock done. So beyond casting this on and getting it to the point where it is now, I haven't worked on it as much. Plus I don't take DPNs outside the house with me because I drop them everywhere. So I, the vanilla socks have been that are on nine inch and two circulars have been perfect to take in the car if I'm not driving or we're going to be somewhere. So yeah, they've gotten a little bit more love and attention, <laughs> but that's actually all the works in progress that I brought to chat about today. I have no mail to show, which is just completely insane, but probably partly because I have not checked the PO box since like Wednesday of last week, I think. I just didn't, I dropped some stuff off and just never even thought to check the PO box. So 
I'll be checking that and next week may be a little crazy because I have not checked the PO box and didn't show anything this week. But if you are a maker of any kind and you ever want to donate to Summer Stock Camp or the podcast or any knit alongs or giveaways going on, you can always just get in touch with me. My email address and information is always listed down below. And the PO box is also listed down below. So if you just prefer to send something, you can certainly do that as well. All of the details are right there for you. I always love showing off all of your makes here, supporting small businesses, um, helping build up and promote small businesses. It's something I'm very passionate about. So don't hesitate to reach out to me if you think, man, I want to have my items shown on the Crazy Sock Lady podcast. Just reach out and, and I will be happy and honored to be able to do that for you. We have some giveaway winners to chat about. So I actually never heard back from a giveaway winner on a previous episode for the skein cocaine yarn in the project bag. And so I redrew for that. And our winner for that is Melinda W was the name on YouTube. So congratulations, Melinda, if you would just get in touch with me at crazy sock lady podcast at gmail.com. And I can get your just your shipping information. And then I can send that out to you. And I will say that Melinda and the other two winners I'm going to announce from this episode have until July 7th to contact me and then I will redraw new winners if I have not heard from them. So our giveaway winners from last episode, we have two. We did a giveaway for the Rachel Fletcher's, um, her Bridgerton pattern collection for sock patterns. And our winner for that is Jay Katteriman. So congratulations, Jay. He's a, this is your second time winning a prize here on the Crazy Sock Lady podcast. So congratulations. If you would just send me your Ravelry name or if you prefer to have them emailed to you or anything like that, just email me and let me know and I will get in touch with Rachel and coordinate her getting that, that pattern collection sent to you. We also did a giveaway for the Hummingbird bag and the Progress Keepers. And our winner for that is Linda Snyder. So congratulations, Linda. If you could just send me your shipping information, I will get all of that out to you. So congratulations to all three of our winners. I do have a giveaway for this episode that I pulled out of the prize cabinet. We have this beautiful mini skein set that was sent by Barnyard Knits. And all you have to do to enter to win this mini skein set is to comment down below this episode and then I will draw a winner on the next episode for this. So anything you comment down below will enter you to win that. So that's pretty much it for today. Definitely a shorter episode, but no finished objects, no mail because I failed at checking the PO box before I recorded today. So yeah, just a little bit of chatter. So we definitely had a great day yesterday. We had a fun weekend too. Um, Father's Day was nice and Saturday was good. We went to a Jeep event on Saturday. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun with the Jeep events. We're really, really enjoying it. And it's been fun for, I don't know, we have something we can go to as a family as well, but really for something for Eric and I to have fun with and connect with, it's been a lot of fun. And then yesterday it was just like, it was late Sunday and I was like, why don't we just go to Kings Island tomorrow? Let's just call off work, which I'm my own boss. So <laughs> I didn't have to really do anything, um, but <laughs> let's just take off tomorrow and take the kids to Kings Island. I have not been since I was a kid. Neither is Eric. Why had never been Austin went for a school trip. Um, we keep talking about going as a family, but we hadn't. So it was so much fun to just be spontaneous and just be like, let's go. And we did it. And it was a great, great day. Apart from the side that we did learn that Wyatt hates roller coasters. <laughs> He's never really been on any ride, really. Never any roller coasters. Um, and we made the poor decision to get on the Beast the first ride we did of the day. And he was done. He was like, nope. He did the bumper cars and the antique cars that you drive around the little track after that. And he was like, I'm not riding anything else. <laughs> so he does not like roller coasters. He said any ride that he would have ridden, he probably would have felt the same way. It wasn't just, it wasn't the beast's fault. Um, but he was not a fan of how fast it went, the hills, the turns, nothing. 
Um, so yeah, but he still had fun. He thoroughly enjoyed watching us ride the rides. We would take turns waiting with him, you know, and he thoroughly enjoyed watching us ride them, hearing about them, um, playing some games. So don't worry, he still had a great day, but he just was not a fan of rides. I'm hoping next time we will for sure go back. Honestly, I wanna go back so much. I'm like, why don't we just get a season pass and go all the time? <laughs> I had so much fun, y'all. Um, but I'm hoping he will eventually ride something. Maybe he won't be a roller coaster fan, but he'll eventually try the scrambler or shake, rattle and roll or something else just to see if he likes those types of rides. Um, but yeah, that was just not a good first ride. That was not our, our smartest um, moment. <laughs> Um, if you've never, you've never been to Kings Island or heard of the beast, you could definitely look it up online, but the beast is a, oh my goodness, who is texting me? Wyatt is texting a group text with his birthday list. Um, the beast is a wooden roller coaster. It's been there for so long since I was a kid and it's very rough. So I think that factored into it a lot. It's very, very rough. <laughs> Eric and I forgot how rough it was or it might have been the fact that we were like teenagers and it's like whatever you don't really care at that point but yeah it was kind of rough but I had so much fun I used to love amusement parks um roller coasters that went upside down and like I used to be so adventurous with that type of stuff and then it was kind of like I had kids and I was like I don't want to do that stuff <laughs> no so I just never had the desire to go anymore and then we've never really lived around that many either but now that we're so close to Kings Island it was like a 38 minute drive I think um we went I was brave I did not ride Orion don't think I will that was way too high I think but I just had so much fun just kind of like feeling like a kid again I guess and just the adventure and the excitement and I rode some rides with Eric, I rode some rides with Austin. Like I said, why it was done after the first one other than the, a couple very tame ones. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. I surprised myself by not getting sick. I was kind of worried like after having kids, is that kind of going to change? Because some people really can get motion sick a lot easier after they have kids. So I was kind of worried about that, but I had no issues. I did not get sick yesterday. I loved the upside down ones. Oh my gosh, they were my favorite. Um, yeah, you guys probably don't even want to hear about all this, but it was so much fun. And I wish, so there was this ride that's inside. If you've ever been to Disney World and rode Space Mountain, the roller coaster that's in the dark inside, that is kind of what this was. Austin had not been on it on his school trip, but he had heard kids talk about the roller coaster inside and it being scary just because it was dark. So he wanted to ride it. So I'm like, okay, I'll ride it with you. We waited in line for probably 20 minutes. It was the longest line of the day, which really isn't that long at those kind of places. Um, so we stand in line and we're kind of like talking like, is this going to be bad or what? And there were these two teenage girls in front of us and I asked them have you y'all ridden this and they said yes we've ridden it before and I said okay is it really bad they're like no 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 it takes off really fast but it's it's not bad at that point I was like I before we got on that one I was like I don't know if I want to ride any upside down ones Austin has said he absolutely was never riding an upside down roller coaster so we get on the ride for one is we get closer there's like these warnings and it's like if you have an earrings take your earrings out keep your head back against the headrest and your head like your face forward all the time and we're like oh my gosh <laughs> what have we gotten into and austin we got in the car and austin's like are you sure we want to ride this because we could probably get out right now i thought i think he really wanted to get out and i was like is it too late to chicken out we can't chicken out right now we're already buckled in so we did not chicken out. We stayed in. That thing took off. It was Flight of Fear was the name of it. That took off like, I don't even know what. It took off so fast. 
and it's pitch black. You can't see anything to like anticipate what's coming. It was like <laughs> insane. We were all over the place. I was like, did we go upside down? I don't even know what we're doing right now. Are we, or what are we doing? And at one point it like slows down and I was like, Austin, have we been going upside down? <laughs> he was like, I don't even know. <laughs> We had for sure been going upside down, corkscrewing, and then we went corkscrewed and went upside down again, and then it was over, and we were laughing so hard. Austin was like, I am so dizzy. I don't even know if I can get out of the seat. <laughs> it was just the best day. Austin is a who to ride rides with. He laughs. He, like, groans. I don't know. He is just hilarious to ride these rides with. Um... So I already can't wait to go back. We didn't ride everything. Eric's like, let's save some for next time. It was like five o'clock. And I'm like, are we done? Are we going to keep going? We'd been there all day. Um, but he was like, yeah, let's save some for next time. So we, we finished up the day and came home and had ice cream for dinner on the way home. It was really the best, best day. Best day. It makes me want to be spontaneous more often because that is not me. If if you really know me, you know that I am like a planner. Like don't fling things at me the last minute because I want to plan for them. But I just kind of felt like, man, I want to go do something fun. And I, I just want a little day, like a break and just go do something fun with the kids. And that was so perfect. I can't wait to go back. My mother-in-law wants to come up and go with this next time. Uh, my sister Cassie and her husband want to come up. My cousin wants to come up with her kids. Like, yeah. I really anticipate us going a lot more. And hopefully Wyatt will come around to some more rides. But if not, that's fine. That's They're not everyone's thing. So he just enjoys playing the games more, I think, um, that they have. And that's fine. Okay, though. I think that's it. <laughs> I need to edit this. And I have... A bunch of orders printed out to package up today. The boys have said they're going to work this week. So we will see if they help me package up some orders and get those out to y'all. Be sure to head over and check out the Etsy shop. If you were wanting anything that sold out before, it has probably been restocked. There were, the fabric tape measures were in back order. So I won't have those until next month. I'm probably actually going to go ahead and just order a little bit more of those because they were so popular. So if that's what you were wanting, those I will not have until next month. Um, but yeah, head over and check out the Etsy shop. Thank you guys so much for all of your support with everything Crazy Sock Lady. I know I say this a lot, but I truly mean it from the bottom of my heart every single time I say it. And the reason that I got to do that yesterday, I got to just like be spontaneous and take my kids to Kings Island was because of y'all supports. So you support me and that has let me stay at home and have this business at home where I have the freedom to do things like that. Um, so yeah, thank you for making stuff like that possible. But I hope that you guys are having a great week. I will chat with you all soon. Until then, happy making. Bye.